Moderna is out with some results of a small trial of older patients. For that, we're going to get to Meg Terrell. Hey, Meg. Hey, Carl. So Moderna, just giving an update minutes ago at the CDC's advisory committee meeting on immunization practices focused on COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, both Moderna and Pfizer presenting uh, data there this morning to the What's notable about Moderna's update is that it included new information on older adults phase one vaccine trial. And this is important because there have been questions about whether these vaccines will work as well for older people who don't always mount as strong an immune response. Uh, and what the data showed, and as you said, it was a small trial. These are about 20 patients over the age of 56, uh, two groups 56 to 70 and 71 plus. But they found that the immune response was similar in older participants as in the younger ones that we'd already seen, those ages 18 to 55. Uh, they also say the vaccine appeared to be generally safe and well tolerated, including in that older uh, population. The stock already moving a little bit higher this morning um, on this update as investors in the vaccine space were closely listening to this. And just minutes ago, uh, these new data came out. So, of course, Moderna is in the middle of enrolling its large 30,000 participant phase three trial. And that will be the one that gives us the information on how well this vaccine protects against COVID-19. But some promising early results in that older population that is so important because, of course, guys, they're so vulnerable severe COVID-19. Guys? Yeah, yeah Meg, uh, conceivably the first population that would actually receive a vaccine, as you indicate, although again, it's 20 people, only 10 of them actually really considered older. I mean, very, very small. When is Moderna expected to actually complete enrollment of the 30,000 it's looking for for the phase three trial? That's a great question. So they provided an update on Friday saying they'd enrolled more than 13,000 30,000 they plan to enroll. They began this July 27th. It's not expected to necessarily be a linear pace of enrollment because they are bringing on more trial sites, so it could pick up. Um, so, you know, within the next few weeks to months, we should see that uh, trial getting fully enrolled, and then it will depend on and there is in the places where these people are, how quickly we see the data about how well this vaccine actually protects them. But we should be getting updates from Moderna every Friday, which is nice on, on learning how fast this trial enrolls. Hey, Meg, really quick, um, people asking this morning, why would the CDC revise its guidelines on those getting tested but not expressing symptoms? Yeah, there is a lot of concern about uh, that that I'm seeing from experts in the field uh, because we know that there is so much asymptomatic infection uh, with COVID-19. So people don't feel sick, but they can still be contagious. You know, some folks saying 40 percent of COVID-19 infects the asymptomatic. So um, not clear exactly that most experts agree that is a good change uh, in terms of testing uh, guidelines. And, you know, we've been hearing a pushback from Admiral Brett Gillard, who is overseeing testing for the Trump administration, who's been saying we need targeted strategic testing called shotgun testing of everybody. But there is a lot of disagreement about that uh, in the health community, guys.